From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings LA Late with incredible great news about your for stimulus check update of 2022 for May 8th, 2022. Happy Mother's Day. In today's recording, we'll go over the incredible great news as a fourth stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state. And thousands of viewers of this channel, and hopefully you tonight as well, have gotten your applications in for that four stimulus check. Over this one hour special broadcast, America's most watched show for financial news in prime time, we'll go over that four stimulus check and how to get it and how I want to get you to have your second application, yes, on file by Monday. That's your homework assignment. Plus, we learn new details about who gets that check and who doesn't in tonight's recording over this one-hour broadcast. Meantime, we had a very tumultuous week last week. What does this week say for? Well, I think it's going to be even worse. The CPI number, the Consumer Price Index numbers released on Wednesday, though, give us guidance on where inflation's going. That inflation number is important because it'll give us guidance on how the Build Back Better Act, which will give you fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of additional checks on top of the four stimulus checks that are in every state of the latest update on the build back better act tonight in prime time next up will be that ss 300 as j powell had an opportunity to give ease to the markets and all he gave was turmoil and dramatics when he announced that fomc rate hike of a half basis point last week what happens this week all the latest projections in today's tonight's recording then we turn over to the details about that ss300 that six stimulus that student loan debt forgiveness it's a lot of money and it's all heating up midterm elections are right around the corner and what do the polls say what we need to know tonight is the simple the simple is that a four stimulus check is now in every u.s state over this one hour broadcast, I want you to get those incredible checks. So start tonight by becoming a member of the links at the top of the chat and the pinned comment, subscribe, and get ready for that newsletter and get ready for those checks. Also, get ready for the exciting breaking news as Evenings LA for May 8th, 2022 starts right now on Mother's Day. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful night for May 8th, 2022. The shores of Santa Monica, beautiful weather here along the coast. Hope the weather is good where you are. And happy Mother's Day to all of you in every state where a Fort Simmons check is now located. A Fort Simmons check is now available in every U.S. state. And I'm going to go over how to get that incredible check in tonight's recording. But first, subscribe. Go to the top of the channel and subscribe. Then become a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that features the big checks. And in this recording, stay to the very end. Stay to the very end. I got more checks coming up for you and more education and breaking news over this broadcast. We start tonight with the Build Back Better Act. The Build Back Better Act gets the support of bad economic data all last week. And this week is likely a lot worse. <laughs> Why? Because this week, the Consumer Price Index number will be released on Wednesday. What is that number? The CPI is an inflationary gauge number, and it'll give us guidance if what Che Powell has done has worked or not worked, and why this economy is stalling up. The latest data tonight is that the White House is putting Build Back Better Act front and center to get it done, with a potential vote by Memorial Day weekend because of the midterm elections. Negotiations have resumed between Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema and the President of the United States to get that Build Back Better Act done that will give you additional four stimulus checks on top of the checks that are already in your state. And those additional checks would pay about fifteen dollars to $80,000. Build Back Better Act is supported with bad economic data, and tonight, folks, we got a lot of it. And ironically, I believe this next week will be even more bad data. The economic data signaled that the U.S. economy is stalling, shrinking, shrinking dramatically. 
from a, what was supposed to be a 7.1% growth rate in the month of April, the GDP, gross national product, that instead came in at 6.9%, it's likely 4%, and I'm projecting by the end of the year will be 0%. Zero, because why? We're heading into recession. A recession is a negative growth environment, and I'm projecting that, that recession starting in 2023 for two years. I was the first to make that projection. It was followed up by then Deutsche Bank. And I've been getting numbers correct for a long time. All last year, I said that inflation was coming in 8% in December of 2021, when Wall Street said no, 1% to 2%, and then temporary or transitory. I said, no, it's going to be pronounced and prolonged. And that's what happened this last week. The Federal Reserve FOMC meeting of May was held. Jay Powell attended. He announced a half basis point increase, but this was not supposed to be a surprise because, in fact, he had made that announcement three months earlier. In the month of February, he told us what he's going to do in May. That's the way the Federal Reserve works, to calm the markets, keep everyone relaxed. That FOMC meeting number was important for your SS300. Why? And important for your Build Back Better Act. Why? Let's go over the details. Build Back Better Act is supported by bad economic data. I'll be going over more about that in a second. And SS300 is supported by a high inflation rate. If Joe Biden made that phone call to Social Security Administrator head today to swap that COLA for inflation, what would inflation be? Well, you can guess it, or you can wait till Wednesday, because on Wednesday we get that Consumer Price Index number release, and that is likely, in my projection tonight, at about 8%. If it is 8%, then if Joe makes that swap from COLA to inflation, you lock in $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, but a lifetime, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Then if inflation tracks at 4% later this year, your benefits will go up another $100 on top of that. That would be SS300. Joe needs to make that phone call. Joe make the call. But what's going on between now and that phone call from Joe Biden. What's going on between now and then is what Jay Powell's doing. Jay Powell's trying to reduce inflation by raising interest rates. And that raising interest rate started at that May FOMC meeting dramatically. Half basis point, but he told us he was going to do that in February. Suddenly, Wall Street went into turmoil on Wednesday. Stagflation, recession, all the major scares started to crumble. 1,000 point drop of the Dow that day. Why did things get so bad so quickly? Because Jay Powell is delivering his Mother's Day's gifts. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day from Jay Powell. He's giving you higher inflation rates, <laughs> higher inflation, higher interest rates, recessionary concerns, and stagflation, uh, short, shorter GDP, smaller GDP. Uh, he's just really a loving child, isn't he? <laughs> Let's go over what happened and why this is so important for Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act now has the support of bad economic data, inflationary concerns, recessionary concerns, stalling up economy. Growth numbers are shrinking. The U.S. economy is shrinking dramatically, and the number of job creations is not particularly there either. Non-farm payroll jobs missing at 60,000. The labor participation rate released on Friday showed that we're still about 2% point down from pre-pandemic levels, meaning people are not participating in the labor market still. Bad economic data, yeah. More support for Build Back Better Act, yes. Midterm elections, oh boy. They want to get this wrapped up for a vote by Memorial Day weekend, but the negotiation's done this month. That's what an insider says to news. Now, when you look at what happened with Jay Powell, more support for that and also for SS300. While we're looking at that CPI number on Wednesday to see if whether we're at 8%, I'm projecting that we already are. Why? This is what's going on. The Consumer Price Index number will give us a gauge of inflation, but j Powell had a quarter basis point increase the month before on those interest rates. Didn't work. Half basis point was announced this Wednesday, but he had already told us we could do this a month before. And why did Wall Street implode? The Dow was down the sixth consecutive week last week. The Nasdaq had its worst run of consecutive weeks down since 2012. The S&P shredded 1.2%. The Nasdaq fell 1.9%. The Dow was down 345 points. In fact, we had stocks like Under Arbor on Friday that was down 22% in one day. 
Stocks like Apple continue to slide dramatically as it, cannot, as it was reporting supply chain disruption hurting its businesses in third quarter. Yes, this is what's going on. It's a mixture of reporting of what happened in first quarter this year and what's happening or going to be happening by the end of the year in third quarter. Supply chain disruption is the number one story. Apple, for example, saying that it has component parts made in China for its for its iPhone, and those component parts cannot be delivered, and hence the sales will go down. If the sales goes down, Apple doesn't grow, the economy doesn't grow, jobs are not created, you don't make as much money. Yeah, this is the this is the this is how it rolls out. This is why Build Back Better Act is needed. Now let's go over the details of Build Back Better Act. Three classes of checks and three add-ons of checks that will pay you a lot of money. And those incredible add-ons of checks would pay you about fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of additional checks on top of the four simple checks that are in every U.S. state. That's good. Does Build Back Better Act create inflation? No, it does not. When the U.S. government spends money, that does not create inflation. In fact, Build Back Better Act helps us. Why? It helps prevent recession. Recession is negative growth. Remember, business is shrinking. How do you keep a business from shrinking? You have consumers spending more money at the business. How do consumers spend more money at the business? They got stimulus in their wallet. Very, very simple equation. So Build Back Better at getting that support with the bad economic data. Let's look at that SS300. Well, my projections that that inflationary rate will likely show us on Wednesday about 8% still. I don't think we're that much better. I think we're about 7.5, 8.1, 8.2, somewhere in the 8%. So if Joe Biden makes that swap from COVID to inflation today, you'd lock in $200 more per month. And not just this month, not just this year, but a lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. What about the end of the year? This is where you have to sort of laugh. This is where you have to sort of laugh because in the month of February, Jay Powell had said that he's going to get inflation down to 1.9% by the end of the year. And I just sort of looked at that and I laughed and I said, what are you talking about? No, Jay, no one thinks that. Well, they did at the time. I said, it's not going to happen. Inflation is going to come in at 4%. This last week, Wall Street understood Jay Powell is just talking about stuff. He literally has no ability to do anything close to it. If you don't know, historically, the Federal Reserve has attempted to bring down inflation by raising interest rates, and historically has not worked. And if there was any more indication of what Jay Powell is doing is not going to work, let's look and see what the Bank of England said this week. It said it's raising interest rates, but the inflation will be higher in England by December. How high? 10%. They basically said they're doing the same thing Jay Powell's doing, and they think that inflation is going to go to 10%. 1.9% for Jay? No, Jay ain't going to work. Why is this happening? Let's go over that in a second. But first, let's recap. Build Back Better Act gets the support of this bad economic data getting done by Memorial Day weekend. This supports SS300 because if inflation's hot, you'd lock in that $200 more per month. And if I'm right, which I think I will be, and inflation's 4% later this year, you lock in another $100. Wow, that's great news. That's SS300, not just this month, not just this year, but a lifetime. That is how it works. Now, what is Jay Powell really doing this last week? He's talking the talk, but people were not walking the walk. Number one, they did not really buy his claim that he's getting inflation down to 1.9% by the end of the year. Come on, I mean, that's sort of ridiculous. Number two, the job of the Federal Reserve is to ease the markets, and to ease the markets by giving guidance far in advance, giving you guidance in February, what you're going to do in May. That's what he did, a half basis point. So did he ease the markets for, let's say, June? He did not. Something I'm revealing for the first time tonight on Eames LA in prime time is j Powell really should have said, I think half basis point is going to work for May, for June, and July. And then after that, I think we're going to try to go back to a quarter. He really should have given guidance. To think that someone thought that j Powell saying, I'm not doing three quarters of a basis point was guidance, that's not guidance. How many Americans, how many Wall Street analysts thought that there was going to three quarters of a basis point was in the equation? It wasn't. So he should have given us guidance about something we really think is a possibility. Two basis point, two more half basis point increases is what I'm projecting. I would have liked guidance back from him. Yeah, I think you're right, Allied. And then I know what I'm doing for two more months. I don't expect him to guide and give guidance out to September because that's the worst months at issue. Yeah, that gets where it gets very bad. That is where the situation is going to really unravel. 
Why is this so important for Joe Biden, especially as we go into a new week? Joe Biden is that guy that was bred during the Obama-Biden administration. And you know what that Obama-Biden administration was very much about? Polls and polls and polls and approval ratings, approval ratings. And and Barack had very big approval ratings, but a lot of his congressional leaders did not. And they were very focused on approval ratings. Well, Joe Biden has been in office, bad approval ratings. His numbers got even worse this last week. A new CNN poll revealed that 70% of people polled, both Democrats and Republicans, registered disapprove of his office, his job in office. Why? Over 50% of them polled said that they blame the economy on him. Now, let's look at that question. That's a loaded question. First, it's presuming that the respondent will say the economy's bad. How bad is the economy? Blame Joe Biden? Yeah, it's really bad. Thank you for sort of preempting me with a with a planted question. <laughs> You're leading the question. You're leading the respondent. But that response was they blamed him for the economy. Sad, because he's not doing all the bad stuff. In fact, most of the bad stuff is coming from Jay Powell, who was, of course, a Republican nominee. His problems that he's seen under his tenure are inflation, not caused by him. It's caused by supply chain disruption. One, coming out of COVID. Second, because of Putin invading Ukraine. And third, because of China. None of those things are Joe Biden's fault. Number two, the other issue at issue is the shrinking U.S. economy, shrinking GDP. That is sort of his fault because he could have prevented that by getting Build Back Better Act done earlier last year. We would not have had a shrinking economy. We would have had a much more robust and growing economy. And then what are the other parts that are really at issue? Well, student loan debt forgiveness. You're going to see more about that later in this video. But here's the obvious thing about student loan debt forgiveness. If your student loan debt has a $500 monthly payment and you don't have to make the payment anymore because your debts are forgiven, then that spurs the economy. Now, let's be frank. No one has to pay their debts anymore because they're currently, or any, at the moment, because they're in a moratorium. But this is all stuff that he sort of could have done. But the real meat and potatoes of what's t- problems tonight is not his doing. It's Jay Powell's doing. And guess what? It's going to get worse. The good news is as we look forward as a family, as a community, there is, you know how I'm going to finish the sentence. If you know how to finish the sentence, you can rise as well. There is a forcible check in every U.S. state. Jump in the live chat right now and write those letters and those words in the live chat right now, and I will graduate you once again from LA 101. A forcible check is now in every U.S. state. That is when I taught viewers this channel last week. Then we went to LA 202. In LA 202, the second class, I asked viewers to tell me what force to most checks are in every U.S. state. If you're on the live chat right now, write the letters of the checks that are in every U.S. state. The key word is every, so don't get tripped up and overstate which of the force to most checks are in every U.S. state. And if you write it, I will tag you and graduate you from LA 202. Then after the commercial break, we'll come back and go over to LA 303. LA 303 heated up on Cinco de Mayo. I told you as a channel, I'm giving you 24 hours from Cinco de Mayo to Seis de Mayo to get your application on file for one of the four symbols checks in every U.S. state. A thousand plus viewers did it. If you just found this channel, I'm going to show you how to do it today. How to get one application on file for a four symbols check. But get ready, because we're already zooming forward to LA 404. In LA 404, I'm asking viewers by this coming Monday, if you're already a member, to get a second application on file for a forcible check. And tonight, I'm going to go over LA 404 Plus. What is that? That's another piece of education you need to know about these forcible checks. And get ready for this coming week, because we're going into LA 505 and also bear market. <laughs> it's a big night, and it's a big evening. The great news is that a force symbols check is in every U.S. state, and we're going to get those incredible checks in the second half of this video. What's important to know is that the data, the economic data, is really bad and getting worse across the board. What is the economic data going into the new week? Well, Housing starts are down four consecutive months. Auto sales are down another month. And now we saw as of last Friday, the used auto sales are dramatically following. The underperformance is seen directly to the rise of yields, real yields, which are now in positive ter- territory. The issue of tech stocks is not only the valuation pressure, but also the interest rates regime. 
what happened with those interest rate regimes. Well, here's where something that's very interesting. The 10-year Treasury note rose to 3.13% for the first time since 2018 on Friday. And why is that so important? Because that's the bond traders. The bond traders usually are telling you what inflation is going to be before you see the number reported. They're trading based upon what they expect inflation is going to be. And they brought that 10-year Treasury note on Friday to 3.13%, the highest percentage point since 2018. That is as stocks imploded. Under Armour down 22% on Friday. As it said, guidance for the third quarter will be horrific. Nike, which did not even report that day, it took a hit based upon the Under Armour news. The number came as a weak area of report in the job was a labor participation rate. 1.2% of Americans are still not getting back to work, less than pre-pandemic levels. Meantime, we saw that there was a slowing of productivity by the U.S. worker as well in the labor numbers released on Friday. The numbers continue to unravel as Paul Judah Tudor Jones, billionaire hedge and fast venge manager, said that this is uncharted territory. This is going to be uncharted territory. I think this is one of the most difficult financial periods we've ever been in for a very long time. I'll have more of his comments and quotes after the commercial break. But we're going to get those for some checks for you after the commercial break. We're in this commercial break, I want you to do a few series of few things. If you're not a subscriber, go to the top of the channel and subscribe. Then I want you to become a member. Hit that membership link and become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power Calcino VIP so that you can get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to the front of the channel, hit that bell, and turn all your alerts on. And then jump in the live chat and tell me which checks are in every U.S. state. Which four summer checks are in every U.S. state tonight? Get ready, because in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those incredible checks. I'm going to show you how to get your four summer checks as well. And then I got a new class tonight you've never seen before on prime time in the evenings L8. It's a big night. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. We're just getting started. Stay to the very end. I got more checks and more surprises later in this video. And, of course, we'll go over what's happening with that gasoline at the pump and that wheat prices. Ugh. So much to go over. Big night. Be back with you in 60 seconds as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues now on a big night of evenings LA from May 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Hope you had a beautiful day, and we're just getting started because a four stimulus check is in every U.S. state, and tonight we're going to go over that incredible check and how you get it. If you joined during the commercial break, welcome, and thank you for becoming a member, and if you haven't, do it right now. First, subscribe. Go to the top of the channel and hit the subscribe button. Number two, become a member. Number three, hit that bell and make it sure it's set to notifications for all. And then you're going to get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. 
Tonight, we continue our narrative and our education on that forcible check in every U.S. state. We're going to start with the latest details tonight, but if you're a brand new member, brand new viewer, welcome. I'm going to recap so you can get caught up very quickly. Here we go with L8101. L8101, if you're in the live chat right now, write the key words to graduate from L8101. A fourth stimulus check is in every U.S. state. If you write those words in the live chat right now, I will tag you and graduate you from Ally 101. It's a very, very simple concept, and all you got to do is say the simple words. A four stimulus check is in every U.S. state now. Write that in the live chat, and then congratulations, you are graduated from Ally 101. Now let's go to LA 202. Which four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state? That was a question which I asked before the commercial break. Did you get it right? If you said the following, you got it right and graduated from L8202. The answer is, the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are check A, check B, and check C. Congratulations, you have graduated from L8202. Check D, if you said that, is not, not a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. All right, let's go to check, let's go to L8303. LA303 heated up on Cinco de Mayo when I told viewers to go and do the following homework assignment. The homework assignment was very clear. You are to go and apply within 24 hours for one of the fourth stimulus checks. You can choose the check. I just need you to do it within 24 hours. That was a homework assignment on Cinco de Mayo. And by the Seis de Mayo, 6th of May, viewers of this channel, of over a thousand of them, got their Homework done. So proud. They chose either check A, check B, or check C to apply with. And that was the incredible news of the time. Now, let's recap Val's details right now. And if you're on the live chat, I want to see who got what, where you got it. And if you're new to this channel, I'm going to show you how to get a check A, B, or C. First, let's go over the details of each of these incredible checks. For check A. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for so much check in every U.S. state. It is the homeowner's weatherizing grant check. The income qualification is the same as a third so much check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you can get it as well. How do you get check A? Step one, subscribe. Step two, Become a member. Go into the newsletter Monday through Friday. Then go down to check A in the newsletter. There it is. You find it. You click the link. Send you into a nationwide website. You choose your state like Tennessee. Then the homeowner's weatherizing grant and you apply. So simple. <laughs> if you're in the live chat right now and you applied for check A for L8303, write check A. And congratulations. I will congratulate you on graduating from L8303. Let's see who applied for instead check B this week. Check B is a $15,000-$80,000 for stimulus check is in every U.S. state. The income qualification is the same as third stimulus checks. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. It is also available for everyone on benefits. This is the homeowner's grant check. How do you get it? Very simple. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, go into the membership newsletter and go down to where it says check B. So simple. In that membership newsletter, you'll see check B right under check A, obviously. And there it is. What do you do? You click the link. And it'll send you right into the application website. First, you'll land on the application website's nationwide map. Then you choose your respective state, like uh, Georgia. And then you submit. Put your name and address in, and you are done. Look how simple that is. You don't even need to have to do finger exercises for that. <laughs> you take your finger. You... Go down on the membership newsletter, find check B, push, <laughs> send you to the national website. There it is. There's your state push. 
then type in your name, push, submit, you're done. My goodness, that's easier than wearing a lobster shorts. And there you go. You got your check A applications in. And who got a check B application in? If you're in the live chat right now, write check B and I will graduate you from LA 303. Time for LA 303 graduates of check C. Did you do check C? I bet you did. Let's go over check C. So simple, so easy. Let's see who did that for their homework assignment. Check C is a four symbols check in every U.S. state. And what is it? Check C is rent assistance, utility assistance, mortgage, and more. How do you get Check C? So simple. Let's go over the details right now. First, let's understand what Check C is. Check C is a $2,000 approximate monthly stimulus check over 12 months. It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, more. How do you get Check C? You're going to first subscribe. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, Hit that alert, hit that bell at the front of the channel just to set alerts to all, then get that newsletter. Go into the newsletter and go down to, you know what I'm going to say, down to Check C. There it is. You found Check C. Then at Check C, it's going to tell you the following. It's going to tell you who you call, number one. About 15 places, it's going to tell you who to call. 15 different places, you call them all. Then it's going to tell you what to say to them. You say the key words. Rent assistance is because of COVID. Utility and mortgage assistance is because of COVID. And then it's going to tell you what else to do. And you're done. You got your application in for Check C. If you got an application in for Check C this last week, say it in the live chat, write it in the live chat, and I will graduate you as well. Congratulations to the graduates of L8303 this week. If you just found this channel, I'm going to help you do the same. Just replay this video once again and get your application in for LA303 by tomorrow. All right, last night I debuted for May 7th, L8404. Your homework assignment is due May 9th. May 9th on evenings L8, I need you to have the following homework assignment done. What is it? You're going to apply for your second application for a four symbols check. Yes, by Monday, May 9th, I need you to apply for a second application for a four symbols check. So if you have previously applied for check A, maybe you want to do check B. If you have previously done B, maybe you want to do A now. If you did C, maybe you want to do a different C. Yeah, you can do that. Let's say you got utilities. Let's say you got water bill C paid before, app applied for. Now go apply for the gas bill. If you've gotten the rent bill applied for with your county, then go get the rent bill applied for with one of the nonprofits. There you go. That is L8404. Your applications are due for that second for stimulus check application by Monday. If you're currently a member and have the newsletter. If you just became a new member, congratulations to all the wonderful new members, hundreds per day. Then I'm going to give you an extra day to get that done as well. There you go. That is L8404. Now, tonight, a new edition, L8404+. Plus. What is LA404+, Plus? it's so simple. It's a new sort of, you know, ancillary class. And it's very simple because for every question that's asked in the multiple choice exam, the answer is always the same. The answer is, I don't care. <laughs> the answer is always the same thing. I just don't care. <laughs> so, you ready to take the exam? Yeah, pop quiz right now. Here we go. Here come the questions. You already know what the answer is. I don't care. Jump in the live chat and get ready to answer the questions for LA404 Plus starting right now. In applying for an application for a forced to most check, you need to say if you're on SSI or SSDI. Answer in the live chat right now. There you go. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It is unimportant. In the application process for a forced stimulus check if you are on benefits. So do not bother anyone by telling them you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, or RB, or anything like that. It does not matter. It does not a matter when applying for a forced stimulus check whether you are on benefits or not on benefits. So don't mention it ever in the live chat. Hi, I'm on SSI. Is there a forced stimulus check for me? The answer is I don't care. <laughs> Seriously, that's actually the answer. If you see someone on the live chat says, is people on SSI getting a forced stimulus check? The response to that viewer is, I don't care. 
<laughs> and they'll say, what do you mean? Because it's unimportant. It's unimportant to whether you get a check or not. It is not part of the application process. There's not a separate process for you. And the fact that you're on benefits has nothing to do with the giving of a forcible check. All right, let's go to the next question. I'm 65 years old. I'm a senior. Is there a forcible check for me? The answer is, I don't care. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I answered the question for you. Sorry, the professor's already answered the questions for you. I'll give you another question. I live in the state of Texas. I don't care. <laughs> and what about the last question? I am a social services employee. I work as a teacher. I'm a frontline worker. I'm a hazard pay worker. What is the answer to that question? If you're in the live chat, write the answer right now. I bet you're going to get it right. You got it right. I don't care. No one cares during the application for a forcible check whether you are in a particular state, whether you are uh, a frontline worker or were a frontline worker, whether you're a senior or whether you're on benefits. It's not part of the equation. So if you see someone jump in the live chat sometime this week and say, they're one of those things. Hi, I'm a senior. I'm 65 years old, former teacher, former frontline worker, and I'm currently also on SSI and SSDI. The response is, has nothing to do with the application of a force symbol check. And there you go. The detail tonight is that when we look at that check D, which of course is not so much of what I've covered so far yet in the recording, more states will be adding check D as well. Check D is a month, is a check that comes from your state. And that check D is currently in about 24 states, could grow to about 40 states. It is, in a way, an automatic check, and it is a check where you just sort of get it. Which states have checked it? It's in the membership newsletter. In some cases, the states do require you to do something, like file a tax return, but all the details about Check D is in the membership newsletter. Why am I not covering Check D in detail on the video? Because Check D is not everywhere. I need you to get money, and guess what? It's a lot less money. Let's look at the big sums of money in Check C. Yeah. Viewers, some, time, some viewers are getting over $140,000 from Check C. Check B, oh boy, $80,000. Check C, A, $6,500 to $12,000. Huge, enormous sums of money across the board. Next up, student loan debt forgiveness, seven stimulus. Whoa, so the President of the United States gave guidance two weeks ago, but he also didn't give guidance going forward. When you're talking about those poll ratings, this is the one where Joe Biden has himself to blame 100%. He came into office and he said he was going to forgive student loan debt. And he should have just made his determination, taken the, the, the victory run with whatever he announces back a year ago, and just move on to the next subject matter. Instead, now he looks like someone who's not helping. Why? Because two weeks ago he was asked, are you doing $50,000 of student loan debt? Mm. Why is that question being asked? Because we've been all asking that question for over a year. And he got very angry about the question, and he says, I'm absolutely not doing 50000 It looked like an angry guy that didn't want the question asked. Now, insiders say he's actually going to do $10,000, which is great. He should just done it and taken the victory lap on it. Instead, he's belaboring the issue to look like it's not going to ever happen. The president has forgiven student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, then who went to work in the nonprofit sector or public sector after graduation. Great news. That's wonderful. Even better, the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who had been defrauded by their universities. Those debts are been forgiven completely. He took people in default mode and put them in good standing. Also great. And he rolled over debts from May to September. That is all great news. Yet, the narrative or the projection or the optics that is coming out of the White House is he's not getting the major subject matter done. He could have just done this better. <laughs> Forgiving $10,000, moving on, and then doing these little parts like I'm going over with you now later. Instead, he has a sort of balloon over his head about the 50000 and it looks doesn't look good for him, even though he's done really good stuff for too long, that forgiveness. Now, I want you to write down the following words. First, I want you to go to the Department of Education's website. Next, I want you to go into the press releases. There, I want you to read every press release from Miguel Cardona, head of education, in the last two months. Why? because he's gonna give you really big guidance about what they are doing at education to forgive student loan debt. It's too complicated for a particular video. But what Cardona is doing is he's changing the statutes 
so that your debts are forgiven. How easy is that? Some of the words I want you to write down, get ready to get that pen and paper out. I want you to write down IDR credit. They're forgiving some student loans under that IDR credit. Then write down the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. They're forgiving some of the debts through that. Then write down the income-based repayment programs. That is how debts have been forgiven. And for viewers like Chef John Meyer and others who have gotten their debts forgiven, wow, congratulations across the board. As we look over to Six Stimulus, as we look over to Six Stimulus, I got to tell you, this is where Jay Powell looks like he has egg on his face. What is Six Stimulus? Six Stimulus is when we talk about those Western allies trying to get a major stimulus package out the door. Let's recap. In October of last year, before Halloween, I told you there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. I said, if they invade Ukraine, that is the major economic story of 2022. It happened. It was. Then in April, I told you that China is going into lockdown because of subvariant of Omicron. I said, if it happens, that's the next major story of 2022 because it caused supply chain disruption that will cripple our economy and send us into a tailspin, GDP downturning. And I said, if J-PAL continues to come in with higher interest rates as China crumbles into a lockdown, get ready for recession for two years. What was J-PAL saying this week? What was Jay Powell saying the week before? Knowing already what you and I know, which is China's on lockdown because of subvariant of Omicron, knowing that China's causing supply chain disruption, knowing that businesses are starting to shrink and not be profitable in the United States. What did he say? He said he's going to get down inflation by the end of the year by raising interest rates, maybe 1.9%. What did the Bank of England say the same week? Now, remember, this is England. This is not some third world country. This is a, an economy that resembles ours in many ways. What did the Bank of England say this last week? BOE Governor Andrew Bailey said that inflation is going to get bad. He needs to raise interest rates. We're walking a very narrow path. The approximate reason for raising rates, interest rates at this point, is the current profile of inflation. So what did he say? He's going to raise interest rates in England. This is Andrew Bailey to get down inflation. But he said that inflation by December in England is going to 10%. Imagine Jay Powell's here in the United States telling us he's going to do the same thing that England is doing with interest rates, raising them, raise them in England, raise them in the United States. The only difference is in England, they're saying, hey, it ain't going to work. You're going to have inflation going to 10%. And Jay Powell's saying it's going to work. It's going to go to 1.9%. Who's wrong? It's Jay Powell. Jay Powell's very wrong. Historically, every time the Federal Reserve has risen interest rates, it is not work. It is not curbed inflation. Why is this so important? Why this is so important for many, many reasons. One is the landscape of the midterm elections. The midterm elections are about the economy. That's what the polls say. And the way it's about the economy is getting you out money. Let's analyze the situation across the board first. Doing a stimulus package, does it hurt the economy? No, it helps the economy. Does it cause inflation? No, it does not cause inflation. The national debt going up does not cause inflation. Does it help prevent recession? It absolutely does. It reduces GDP shrinkage or basically keeps GDP stable. Why? GDP is about how much the economy of the United States is growing, how much businesses are making, how much businesses are growing. Why does a business make money? You spend money at the business. What causes the, con the business to grow? You spend money at the business. What causes you to spend money at the business? Stimulus in your wallet. It's so simple. It's a very, very simple concept. So the Democrats would help prevent a recession, prevent the GDP from growing at 6.9% in April to potentially zero or a negative number in January of 2023 if they got Build Back Better Act done very quickly. That's issue number one. Issue number two is that the Democrats understand that Joe Biden made that promise from SS300 last year, actually almost a year and a half ago. This is also his fault. SS300 is not political. It's not a political platform. There, it's not a. It is not a partisan issue. It also doesn't cause any problems. The it doesn't cause any problems to the economy, and it helps the economy. Again, it doesn't matter if it's student loan debt forgiveness or SS300, 
or stimulus through Build Back Better Act. If you have more money in your wallet, you spend more money. If you spend more money, it's good for the economy. This is very, very simple numbers. So Joe Biden needs to make that phone call to the Social Security Administration head. Say, swap that COLA for inflation. You have more money in your wallet, $200 more per month than another 100 later this year. He needs to get that student loan debt forgiven, forgiven so that you have an extra $500 a month in your wallet. And that all helps keep the economy stable at where it is. Now, Jay Powell, he's another part of the equation. If you remember during the Trump administration, there was a time in which Trump was unhappy with Jay Powell. And Trump just really came out and slammed Jay Powell one time and said, what did you do that for? And the, the Federal Reserve is not supposed to be seen as a political organization because it's not. But when Trump slammed Jay Powell that one time, Powell backed off. What we're seeing right now is Joe Biden is being blamed 100% for the economy by people pull in a new CNN poll. He's not 100% responsible for what's going on in the economy. He is responsible for the SS300. He is responsible for the student loan debt forgiveness. He is responsible for the Build Back Better Act. But he's not responsible for the inflation you're feeling. That is supply chain disruption. He is not responsible for the raising up of interest rates, which is causing your credit card debts to go up. That is causing your car loans to go up, your flexible mortgage rates. But with not doing some of the other things, he is sort of being compounded in the situation. Here is what you need to know. Through over the last two years, this channel has been around, or a year and a half, I've been very good at giving you predictions. My predictions have been spot on, and sometimes I've been surprised by them. I told you we were going to inflation at 8% in December last year. All last summer, I told you. Jeremy Siegel at the Wharton School of Business Professor said about 12% at the time. I said 8%. People thought I was crazy. They really thought I was crazy. 8%? Are you kidding me, LA? Wall Street and the Federal Reserve said 1% to 2% at the time. I said 8%. I need you to get stimulus. I need you to get every single pot of money that I can get you on a third stimulus. And that is why viewers of this channel got so much money from third stimulus because I told them, Get ready for bad inflation by the end of 2021, December 2021. I said, inflation is going to be 8%. That is why viewers did not sit around and just say, what day is an MSE landing in my bank account? Viewers just didn't do that. They didn't just sit around and ask, what day is money going to land in my bank account? They didn't sit around and say, what day is $250 billion of free home health care for seniors people on disability or $25,000 for, uh, for the purchase of a first home? No, what they understood was what I told them. Cash is king. And if there's a lot of cash, go get it. If it's sitting on the table, go get it. These are people who listened and learned. And now the list is growing astronomically on this channel. People are listening and learning because I've been telling them that four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state. This is what we did last year. Rent, utilities, SNAP. Look at these astronomical numbers. These were from third stimulus as we went into four stimulus. It's actually, a little, it's actually check C now. And viewers understood these are big sums of money. Let me go get it. Viewers have been getting a clear warning from me for now three months that we're heading into a recession for two years starting in January 2020, uh, 2023. But that recession will be felt in your wallet as early as fall of this year. Why? Because the storm is out to sea right now. And that storm may not just be recession. It may be stagflation. Why? Stagflation is a combination of inflation plus recession. And if that happens, then guess what happens? You have a much worse scenario than even I had projected. And that is why, as that wonderful, wonderful financial guru, Tudor Jones, said, you need to hoard every single pot of money you have and don't spend it. This is going to be a very difficult time. It's an unprecedented time in the U.S. economy. Let's go over his comment and why that means you need to get check A, B, C right today and get more of it every single moment you can. The comment that came out in the last few days was the following. It comes from Paul Tudor Jones, who's a renowned, retired billionaire hedge fund manager. He says you can't think of a worse environment where we are right now for financial assets. Clearly, you don't want to own bonds. You don't want to own stocks. I think it's one of those difficult periods where we simply can't do capital preservation. We have to do capital preservation. It's the most important thing we can strive for, which is another way to say save your money. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be one of those periods where you can actually make money. They got inflation on one hand, and then you got clashing of the shrinking economy at the same time. 
there's simply a lot going on. Despite the tightening we see in the financial conditions over the last few months, it's clear that the Fed would like to tighten them further. Boy, the takeaway for you tonight is that I'm so proud of you. You have done astronomical work in just seven, less than seven days. You have done astronomical work. You have understood, one, LA 101, that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Two, you have memorized what the forced stimulus checks are in every U.S. state. You have memorized that they are check A, they are check B, and that they are check C. And then you have done your homework so well. Your homework assignment was to get an application on file for one of those checks within 24 hours. You graduate from LA 303. Your latest assignment is to go get that second check application in. That second check application in could be A, B, or C. Next, you've learned that you need to do this yourself because this application is your name and your signature and your name and phone number. No one can apply for you for a forced stimulus check. No one can apply for you for a forced stimulus check. It is your name. It is your signature. It is your address. It is your bank account. There's no place or person who's going to do that for you. You got to do it yourself. And it's not difficult. <laughs> How easy is it? Let's recap. First, you subscribe. Go to the top of the channel and subscribe. Second, you hit the member button. Become a member. Third, hit that little bell at the front of this channel. Hit it and put it, put it to all notifications. All right, now time to get that newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. Go into the membership newsletter, go down to check A, click the link, go in and apply. Go down to check B, click the link, go in and apply. Check C, go down to check C. And then it gives you the places to call. Call and say the words in the newsletter. Call and say the words in the newsletter. And do what says in the newsletter for check C. And there you go. Repeat now for LA 404. Get another application on file. And remember what you learned tonight in LA 404 Plus. I don't care. Uh, did you have uh, lobster shorts on for Mother's Day? I really don't care. Did you go get a San Francisco? I don't care. <laughs> no. What's important to remember is that when you're in the application process for a forced stimulus check, who, where, what, how is going on in your life, I don't care. It's not part of the equation. That you're on SSI or SSDI veterans benefits, I don't care. It's not part of the equation. Has nothing to do with applying for a forced stimulus check, so don't bring it up. No one cares that you're on benefits. Number two, I'm in the state of New Jersey. I'm in the state of Florida. I'm in the state of Texas. No one cares. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Go get it. Number three, you're elderly. Sadly, no one cares because there's no different application for someone elderly than someone young. Someone who's 30 years, who, 30 years old has the same application as someone who's 74 years old. And finally, if you're a front wor frontline worker, God bless you for your service. But in the case of a forced stimulus check, no one cares. It's not part of the equation. Just go get it. Don't wait. And finally, I think that in the last seven days, I put enough fear in people's feet about where this economy is going. I know it's sort of a hard balance, especially with me on this channel, which I'm always the spirit of optimism, the spirit of positivity, the spirit of a smile and a great night and a couple of laughs. And yet I got to still come on in and tell you that the economy is going to hell in a hell basket in 2023. So it's a balancing act. I don't want to scare you, but I also got to get you going. Why? The four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state, but eventually won't be in any U.S. states. It'll, they'll get used up. So I can't have you sitting around and waiting on this one. I got to get you moving right now. I got to get you to get the money right now. You know, it, it, one of the hardest things with coverage of these subject matters is we never know how much of this money is available. I never know how much. Is there just 30 days of money? Is it three months of money? Is there, is there 20 months of money in these states? I don't know. So I need you to get the money right now because it will run out. I just don't know when. Number two. It's going to get bad out there. It's going to get really bad out there in this economy. So it's important to go get this incredible sums of money across the board. And finally, I love how well you've learned this week. I try to make this, the videos simpler. I try to make the videos um, very, very um, step by step so that you could follow along with me. I made it very interactive. So I'm in the live chat. Congratulations if you graduate from LA 101 
Ally 202, Ally 303, and Ally 404. Well, we'll see if you graduate on Monday. Go to the top of the chat and become a member. Subscribe. And then tonight, stay with me because we have Ally Evenings Ally at 5 o'clock. Extra at 8 o'clock. Sunset at 9. We have Countdown, of course, at 6. And Stream Stimulus at 7. From my family to your family, happy Mother's Day. I hope your brand new week is going to be great. And, of course, get ready for that Wednesday CPI number. It's going to be huge. It's a big night, and the big money is always here. We get every pot of money that we can because a forcemous check is in every U.S. state, and there will be more of them. I'll have them as soon as they become a law as well. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful night, and stay with Allied for more.